Hey everyone, this is Ross. In today's video, I wanna make this short. I wanna give you guys a little update to what we did last weekend. Um, in last weekend's episode, we talked about pruning all these, these in-ground trees down here to six to 12 inches, as you can see. Like all of these that we planted here in this row have been pruned back, pruned back pretty far. And the whole objective of this is to cover them with a tarp. You can see down here, I've got myself uh, the tarp that I'm gonna be using. And also we're gonna cover it with some straw on top of the tarp. Before we put the tarp down, we'll go some vole protection. We'll show you guys that whole process of what I'm doing as I do it. We're still a couple weeks away um, from covering these uh, for the winter time. I just don't have enough time to do it right now. But something had occurred to me, a little improvement on what we talked about last weekend and I wish that I had done it. Um, which is simply a variation of what we did. Instead of chopping down all these branches to six to 12 inches like we did, um, why not leave some of these branches at a longer height? And instead of chopping them, I could have bent them down. You know, I could have taken as an example, if this branch was six feet in length, I could have bent this all the way down, held it down with, uh, with some sort of material and then covered it just the way I'm gonna cover all these other trees. Um, you know, let's take this, this branch over here. This is a tree that I still have to dig up. But take this branch as an example. We bend this whole thing down. They're very pliable, these figs. They bend very easily, especially on that one-year-old wood. We could have bent this down all the way down to the ground and then put something over top of that. And by having this, this growth in here, the following season that's much larger, uh, that has uh, <laughs> uh, something that we didn't prune so heavily, as I've talked to you guys in the past quite frequently, is that when we prune our figs very heavily, when we do a very hard pruning, whether that's the, the winter cold that does that for us or if it's by our own hand, we just have less fruit. Um, our production's a lot lower. And in a lot of cases, it's very difficult to get our trees back into a mode of fruiting. Uh, we can have very mixed results depending on the variety um, after such a hard pruning. So um, one little counteract point of this is to leave a lot of these new branches of the year, leave them alone and just bend them over. And then the spring comes, you uncover and they bend back straight up in the air and they put out a ton of fruit. And in addition to that, you actually have new branches that come up from the base and will restart that process for you next year. Um, so it's one different way of doing this and I think it's actually a better improvement. I think it's a, a definite improvement onto what I did this year. So um, I can't actually experiment with this, which really stinks uh, because I've already chopped back every single tree <laughs> Um, this was just a, a realization afterwards that uh, my buddy Mario had made a parent of his method on rfigs.com. Um, and I did this to all the in-ground trees now, all the ones over here, on the other side, the west side of the house, even in the front of the house, um, they're all chopped down. I can't really accomplish this goal, this, uh, this experiment here. But I have no doubts. Um, that this is a better method for sure. You're gonna get more production. The more wood we have, the less pruning we do, the more fruit we're gonna get, and um, the more reliable our production is going to be. Um, so anyway, I thought I would share that with you guys. We're gonna come at you guys next weekend, uh, actually maybe two weekends from now, into this whole covering process because it's still very far away. Next weekend, I'm gonna be putting all the trees away for good. We had pruned every single tree. I captured that on, uh, on camera the best I could. That video hopefully will come out maybe on Thursday or Friday. And then um, this following, this weekend coming up is gonna be the weekend of me just putting all the trees away, all the potted figs. The following weekend after that, which I think is Thanksgiving weekend, um, we'll be putting all these trees away 
or the, the weekend after Thanksgiving, we'll be covering all these trees with the tarps. We'll show you guys how to do that. The different methods of winter protection uh, because we're gonna do two different methods this year. I may even consider just demonstrating um, some wrapping for you guys and that'll be it. So quick video. Hopefully you guys got something out of this, you enjoyed this. I could expand upon bending over these limbs a bit more, but it really is a better method of doing this. Um, rather than just cutting them all down to like, you know, to yay high, it just, it really is a bit of a, um, a tough scenario when you cut your tree back like this. You know, uh, you are leaving yourself some wood here that the tree can re-sprout from the following season, but, uh, it's not ideal and we're gonna have to really mess around with the hormonal balance of the tree maybe even make a lot of these these varieties here bleed we're gonna have to do some form of girdling um, we're definitely gonna be have to pinch um, taping taking off that apical bud to get the oxen right um, so it's not gonna be easy but it's doable and this is a very reliable form of production I think um, but it could be even more reliable and probably better if we were to bend some of these lim these limbs over leave some of these long shoots um, we would have much better production next year my, my buddy Mario what he does is that he uh, he'll grow th six limbs he'll have three limbs that he covers and then he'll let them go upright again in the spring and then he'll have three new limbs come up from the base uh, the following season. So he has about three limbs in like really good production and then three limbs that um, maybe not, you know, don't do as much. They have that hormonal imbalance. It's a little bit more tricky, more difficult to get them to fruit. But then the following season, he then bends those over and just recycles that whole process. Um, and that's just what ends up happening is that you get yourself a very reliable form of production that way. Um, so yeah, I think you guys got the gist here. I, got, I think you guys got the idea. We'll come at you guys soon with more important videos on the winter time. Um, take care guys. We'll see you for tomorrow's episode of Fruit Talk. Uh, see you later.